Hi, my name is Anthony Lopez, and today I will be reading On This Beautiful Island by Edwin Fontanes. On This Beautiful Island, written and illustrated by Edwin Fontanes. On this beautiful island, as far as my eyes can see, the early sun runs shiny fingers through bright green and golden leaves. Deep in the heart of this beautiful land, blue skies, green mountains, and the ocean embrace as one. The wind plays and pushes lazy clouds and makes the tall palm trees giggle and dance. Guanin is the name mother and father call me. I am the guardian of this forest. I am the keeper of the river, the sea, and all breathing trees. This is Tahite, my little green parrot. She is my close to the heart friend. She loves to chirp loudly in my ear and gossip with other birds. We share a love for the ocean, the sun, and ripe yellow guavas. Welcome to our home. I'm so glad you could come. Let me take you where the tiny hummingbirds nestle and shy flowers doze off under the warm shade of the big siva tree. Come along now, don't stay behind. There is so much I want you to see. Look around and pay close attention. Learn the song of the river and the ocean that floats on the wind. Before we go on our adventure, there's something you should know. Remember the words of wisdom that father and mother taught me. Be careful where to step and be careful what to do, for the forest is full of life like you and me. Let's fill up our eyes with nature's colors and always be gentle to the creatures around us. So get ready, here we go. Let Tahite and me take you to places you've never seen before. Oh, what a beautiful day in my village. Oh, what a beautiful land. Come and help us gather the crops. Let's have some fun with my friends in the field. This is my secret place by the river where we can sit in the shade. Would you like to taste a ripe yellow guava? Do you hear the river sing? Where am I going? Where am I going? The mountain river calls out happily rolling downstream. Blurp, blurp, I'm running in circles. It speaks to me. The river speaks to me. I have to go now. I can't stop to chat. The river tells me stories in its own special way, jumping over pebbles that sparkle like crystals with beautiful sounds louder than words. Now it's time to go deep into the forest. Prepare yourself for a special treat. Listen to the song that moves mountains from a frog as small as your thumb. Meet the koki. See how tiny he is? Listen closely to the sound of his song. Koki, koki, koki. Koki, koki is a song in my dreams. Koki, koki is my favorite sound. Koki, koki sits on top of a leaf. Beautiful rainy days are his favorite kind. Squint your eyes and look up to the clouds. Hanging in the bright blue sky, close your eyes and turn your face up and feel the breeze touching your skin. Here in the forest, the birds and the wind hide among the leaves that hang from the trees. Did you see a fast hummingbird hovering close to a red flower? In the blink of an eye, he rushes away, his tiny head dusted with pollen. Look far away into the distance. Can you see what I see? Can you hear the crashing waves? Can you hear the song of the seagulls? Are you ready to guess where we'll be going next? Hurry, come along with me to the shore. Let's follow the high sun down to the bay. Listen to the roar of the blue ocean. The sun makes the waves sparkle like silver fireflies. Soak your feet. Awash, awash. Soak your feet. 
Sing out the foamy salt waves. Awash, soak your toes. Awash, soak your toes. Sings out the ocean again. Let's take a seat in this shady spot. Come on and slip off your shoes. Kick off the sand and watch the fishermen spread out their nets. Let's listen to the ocean inside my pink shell. Ever since I was a small boy, I've always wondered aloud, Father, how long have I loved the sea? And he would lift me up, high up on his shoulders, and laughing loudly answer, Ever since you were no bigger than a conch shell. Now the sun goes to sleep, and the night spreads over the village. Crickety crick, cry out the happy crickets. Cookie, cookie, sings his sweet song out loud. Close your eyes. Can you hear the evening music? Even the night in my village has its own song. Watch the sky hide under its favorite blanket, made of soft rain and fat clouds. A shiny moon rises up from the shadows, and silver stars blink their diamond eyes. The night winds cool down the valley. A crackling bonfire brightens up our home, and long dark shadows dance their way up the walls. Everything slows down. The night is soft, warm, and calm. It is time to gather in prayer. It is time to sit around the warm fire, mother and father, Tahiti and me. It is time to say goodbye to the light of day, to the rain over the blue mountains, to say goodnight to Mother Earth. We pray for the good spirits that live in the forest and the animals laying themselves to sleep. I say goodnight to mother and father, the river and the blue sky too. I love my land, the koki and my home and the bright light dancing around the moon. It is time to say goodnight to you too. Did you enjoy our day in the sun? Don't forget what you've learned today. Think of Tahiti and me. We're your new friends. Think of me by blue mountains. Think of me by the running stream. Always remember the song of the ocean, the forest, and the river too. Also remember the flight of the seagulls and the soft color of shells. Think of the bonfire that warms up my home and fishermen spreading their nets. On this beautiful island, as far as your eyes can see, I hope you know now that my ocean is also your sea. A time will come when you'll understand our paths may never be the same. But when you wish to be here with us again, just close your eyes and remember my name. Thanks a lot for joining us. We really hope you enjoyed the book. Uh, please check out the other book readings of the series as part of the Native American Heritage Month.